Hi parents, this week's recap focuses in on the story of Jesus being tempted by Satan. And this story can be found in both Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4. This story is helping to answer our overarching question right now of what did Jesus do to save us? We believe that Jesus lived a sinless life, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. It is easy for us to draw an application for us like, oh, we just have to depend on God when we face temptation. But there's more to the story than what's in it for us. Let's check out that story. After Jesus' baptism, he went into the wilderness and fasted for 40 days. At the end of this time, Satan came and tempted Jesus with three different offers. He said, turn these stones to bread because you're hungry. Or, and then he said, jump off this temple and trust that God will not let you fall. And then Satan said to Jesus, I will give you all of this if you just kneel and worship me. Now all of these are, would be great temptations for a man that had been in the wilderness, who was hungry, who was tired, who knew that the cross was before him eventually and may have wanted an easy way out. But Jesus doesn't fall. Jesus combats every attempt of Satan with the Word of God and does not fall prey to any of Satan's schemes. Jesus was tempted, but he never sinned. Jesus is perfect and righteous, and this is important because we needed a perfect sacrifice to take away our sins. Jesus was that perfect sacrifice. He died on the cross to free us from sin and to give us the power to say no to temptation. And as we get to the questions, I want to encourage you, get your Bible or get your child's Bible and open it up to either Matthew 4 or Luke 4 and have that open as you go through some of these questions. What is one thing you remember from this week's Bible story? Who came to tempt Jesus? Why did Jesus choose not to turn the stones into bread when he was hungry? How did Jesus resist the devil's temptations? How can we know what choices God wants us to make? Why is it important that Jesus never sinned? And finally, parents, I want to encourage you, spend some time as a family choosing a verse to memorize together that reminds you to follow God instead of temptation. A great option is John 1, 29. And it says, John saw Jesus coming and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And this is so important because it reminds us not only that Jesus took our sin, but there was a reason that Jesus had to come in the first place. There was a reason he had to live a perfect life. It was because of our sin and his love for us that put him there. It is a joy to partner with you as you disciple your kids and lead them to the foot of the cross. I pray that these videos will help foster and spark gospel-centered conversations and discipleship in your own family as you sit and as you walk and as you rise.